Hello and welcome to the Daily Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. An elderly person was asked, What was the meaning of Christmas for him? He replied, I look around and find so many things changing. The dialer phone that itself was so rare and making a phone call was such a difficult thing. Today is eased with the high pace of technology of the mobile phones and even video calls. The cyclostyle machine for printing and the stenography style of taking down notes is shattered today with 3D printers and speech-to-text softwares. The long tapes of recorder cassettes and the oversized gramophone records that would play my favorite music as well as the news I heard on my old radio are given a fresh face with Spotify and YouTube. I see things changing all around me. But one aspect that I can be completely convinced of is this. Christmas is the birth of Jesus our Savior. It is an unchanging factor in this ever-changing world. Of course, we do have our arguments to say that the celebration style of Christmas has surely undergone drastic and dramatic changes. But the fact remains that Christmas, which is primarily the celebration of the birth of Christ, is an unchanging factor. In this dramatically changing world, we are set to celebrate the greatest revolutions of all time, Christmas. This revolution started in the most unlikely places of all, in an ordinary stable outside a forgotten village called Bethlehem. It involved three persons, Jesus, the baby, Mary, the virgin mother, and Joseph, the just man. Hardly glamorous, significantly unnoticeable, and glaringly simple people. Yet, the revolution that began from this table has had the greatest effect on humanity. His birth was to ring in a political revolution, Jesus becoming the king of the world, a social revolution, unifying all classes and castes and races, an economic revolution, bringing hope to the poor and the oppressed, a moral revolution, emphasizing on intentions of the heart and the mind, and most importantly, a spiritual revolution, forgiveness and salvation for all ready to receive Him. Christmas is a great time of celebration, but let us never forget Christ. The celebration of the birth of baby Jesus demands space in our hearts. Let us take utmost care that during this Christmas, Jesus, the tiny and tender babe, does not get drowned in the avalanche of cakes and sweets, buried in the frenzy of shopping and decorations, drunk in the dirt of revelry and parting, lost in the celebrations with Santa Claus and exchanging of gifts. Rather, let us make sure that Jesus, the precious and beautiful infant, is held close to the heart and given a pledge of our life and love, is lavished with kisses of our true promises and renewed consecration, is showered with true smiles of our love for Him and His Word, His Eucharist and His Church. Yes, Jesus, He alone is and ought to be the reason for this season. May He be born not just in the crib in our houses or in the church, but in our hearts and lives. Happy birthday to our dearest and beloved baby Jesus. Congratulations to our blessed mama for her yes and to blessed Joseph for his care. A blessed and holy Christmas to all of us. Let us pray. God our Father, give us your grace that we may be open to your word. Lord Jesus, help us to do the Father's will just as you did. Holy Spirit, be our comforter and our counsellor and lead us on our way. Amen. Thank you for joining us on The Daily Word. Until next time, be cheerful, filled with hope and peace of Christ. God bless.